Hey, good morning, how are you? It's Saturday morning, and I was going to answer a, a question from Jack. Uh, this is a woodworker out in the world there whose name is Jack, happens to be the same name as my oldest son. Uh, he, he's got a small shop in a basement, and he's thinking about buying a circular saw. Right now he does all his cuts with a saber saw, and basically wanted a little advice on what I think he should buy. And so, uh, I think he should get a cordless saw. I really like it cordless saws and he's kind of leaning that way anyway and but I would suggest that you don't go any smaller than the six and a half and I would say spend a little money and get a good tool now a few years ago I bought the Ryobi combo kit you may have seen it I think it was around $89 and that came with a circular saw uh, not a jigsaw a, a saw saw a screw gun and a flashlight and that was okay but to be honest with you it, it really just can't handle cross-cutting a three-quarter inch sheet of plywood, four by eight sheet. So um, I kept it. I, I didn't really use it. What I use it for? What I intended to use it for? And then maybe a few months later, I helped my brother trim his house out. And uh, for Christmas that year, he bought me the Dewalt combo kit. And uh, you've probably seen me use this saw in a lot of videos. And it's a great saw. It's. Uh, it's, it's a strong saw, it'll easily cut through a three quarter inch four by eight sheet of plywood. And between the saw and the sled, you can see how to make this sled, I'll put a link on the screen. Uh, you've seen me use a sled in a lot of videos. You can really, you can really do a lot. So uh, that's my suggestion, Jack. I hope that helps. If you got a small shop, uh, I think that that's what I would go with. You need a good circular saw to make your straight cuts. You're really not gonna be able to do that with a, uh, a jigsaw. Um, and some people just don't have the room for a table saw. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Oh, you know, I'm going to go and feed the bees right now. So if you want to see what the bees look like and how they're coming along, just stick around. I put the roof on a hinge. Still have to do a little work to it. I want to work on the stop so it's a little more secure. See, I'm gonna focus in there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, looks like six combs started. So that worked out really well. They're building the comb right off the top bars. Close this back up. This is the feeding design that Philip Chandler came up with, I found on the internet. I think he's from England. He has an English accent. And this is working great. Oh, you can see the bees there. I don't think I need to fill anymore. I filled this two days ago. They must be getting a lot of nectar from out in the wild now. You know what, I, I feel like just taking a look and seeing what's going on. There's, it's just starting to build comb on this one. And this is the, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth bar out. Take a quick look at the next one. This one's got a couple bees on it. And you can see they're working really good. They're making a lot of comb. I don't see the queen. I'm not going to look for the queen this time. We'll take a look next week. I'm sure she's in there because they're working really well. well let's take a look at one more. See if I can bring that closer to the camera. I don't see the queen, but I'm, I'm sure she's in there. I'll look, I'll take a good look next week. Well, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, I don't really know what I'm looking for. My friend Mary, who's a professional beekeeper, I've become friends with her because of this whole thing, which is really pretty cool. Uh, she'll come by and she'll do a, a really good hive inspection and, and tell me what's going on and I'll learn a little bit from that. But anyway, in the next maybe week or two, I'll do a, a more thorough uh, beehive video and we'll talk a little bit more about what I've learned. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.